Hi. Well, today I've got the Smith & Wesson Model 37 out. Now these are a J-frame alloy framed revolver. It's essentially a Model 36 Chief Special with an alloy frame, making it very lightweight. 5 shot 38 Special. They were made with either a round butt or square butt grip frame. This one has a round butt. The majority of them were made with a 2 inch barrel. This one's a 3 inch. A little more rare, but uh, well, less common. They're not rare. But anyway, as long as I had it out here at the range, I'd get a little, few shots on camera with it. Now these little airweight Chief Specials do have uh, more felt recoil than the Model 36, the steel framed one. But it's not a lot of difference. But just in general, uh, you can't cheat basic physics. Uh, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. and. Uh, lighter the weight of the gun with the same cartridge the more felt recoil you're going to have Well, the little airweight Smith & Wessons were made to, with alloy frame to make them very light, easy to carry. But that does give you uh, more felt recoil. There's really no way to get around basic physics. The lighter the gun with the same caliber, the heavier your recoil is going to feel. Just because there's less weight of the gun to uh, help soak up the recoil. Of course, the barrel and the cylinder are steel, but that uh, alloy frame makes it very light. And as I said earlier, uh, most of these were made with a 2 inch barrel, but they did make them in 3 inch with both the round and square butt grip frames. And they were a fairly popular little revolver. Well, thanks for watching.